Yeah. Yeah. On a Tuesday afternoon, obviously. Oh well, yeah. It's only gonna be until T Mom's over, so then we'll go back to what we usually do. Yeah. So, okay, the beginning of Monday Night Raw, we have little Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman coming out. Mm -hmm. Fat Penguin. They're just pretty much talking about Rollins, how he's Rollins is not gonna beat him and this and that. Um, and then of course Drew McIntyre comes out. He's pretty much saying that after his match is done with Rollins tonight, that Brock Lesnar is gonna be needing um a new opponent for WrestleMania because he's going to demolish Rollins and all of a sudden you see Rollins coming out with a chair and hits uh Drew McIntyre and constantly hits him, hits him. And he um stares at Brock Lesnar, goes into the ring, and um Brock Lesnar just leaves like a big baby he is. Well he screams like a girl. So, but yeah, that was the beginning of Raw pretty much, so it's that's what's gonna be in the be uh one of the matches. Um Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins. Um and then there was um first match was Finn Balor and his part his partner of his choosing versus Bobby Lashley and Leah Rush. Shrimp. Now Finn Balor came out and he was about to talk and say who his uh partner is and he got interrupted by Bobby Lashley and Leah Rush and they're pretty much posing with their title and whatnot and Finn saying that he's gonna get back and but tonight that his par partner is really really wants to get his hands on oh, him yeah. too and get these hands get these hands Braun Strowman mm -hmm. now that match was interesting um Bobby Lashley ended up leaving Lee arrest by himself um so Leah Rush ended up getting a running power slam by Braun Strowman for the win. So he's like, ow, ow. So yeah, that was that. And then there was this um backstage with Ronda Rousey walking with her husband, and they're pretty much with the referees telling her saying about how she is late and that whatnot and whatnot. Um, and then she's like, yeah, whatever, and leaves. So, that was, that was a really big deal with that. And then it went to Moment of Bliss. Of course, too thick. And her, uh, guest is Elias. Death with Elias. And, of course, you know, anything that ends up with Elias, he ends up trying to do a song. Oh, and he always this. gets interrupted. Nope. Of course. But he actually got interrupted with Heavy Machinery. With the Connell eyes. That was funny. <laughs> and Lias and Bliss is like, Otis, you did this over and over again. You're supposed to come out at the end. Not now. Um, and then Lias is like, hold on, I got this, I got this. And then Lias is about to talk. And then, um, No Way Jose was disguised yeah. as one of the Kongolai and attacks him, which ends up being the next match, mm -hmm. No Way Jose yeah. versus Elias. Death with Elias. <laughs> and, um, Elias ends up winning with his, uh, Drift Away, so that pretty much was that. But, I don't know, No Way Jose doesn't really win that much anymore, so... Mm, he's pretty much going down. Yeah. And then the next match, oh, well, before it was a match, Kurt Angle comes out and he's just pretty much talking about his farewell, farewell tour and saying that his freaking WrestleMania opponent, is, his farewell match is going to be against Corbin. I'm like, really, Corbin? Why Corbin? Can it be against someone else? Like, like Lucha, John Cena, or... Someone that could make him have a memorable moment, not Baron Corbin. That's because Baron Corbin's a loser. You don't want your last match against someone dumb. No, mm -hmm. you want you want to have a memorable WrestleMania, like John Cena. Even though I don't like John Cena, but I'd rather see him go against John Cena than. But I I heard they might have they're planning on a match with John Cena though. I don't know who is, but 
Um, and then Kurt Angle saying about this guy that wants to have a match tonight with Kurt Angle and uh, he Kurt Angle it's uh, so spires the person so so and here comes Chad Gable. Oh boy, <laughs> who's odd seeing him come out? Yeah, in his original music, we're an all American thing. But Kurt Angle ends up winning. He has the ankle lock on Chad Gable. And then after the match, Corbin comes out. Ooh. And he's just pretty much, um, yeah, he's just pretty much. Loving how gay he is? <laughs> yeah, he's pretty much just saying that he's going to beat Kurt Angle and he's better than Kurt Angle and whatnot, really. But, and Angle's like, yeah, we'll see. And then, then it went to a backstage with uh, Corbin talking with the Revival. And and then Apollo Crews comes along saying, Come on, give me a match with you. I want a match with you. Come on. Wait, hold on, let me talk first. Let me talk. No, just say yes or no. I want to know. I want a match with you. Mm -hmm. Fine, fine, okay. See, that's your problem. You See, see? Now I see why people don't like you. You don't give them answers right away. See? And then Corbin's like, well, these guys like me, right? And the revival laughs and goes, "No, no, <laughs> and nobody Paul Cruz, likes him." And Paul Cruz laughs and walks away. I was like, "Whoa!" But that was that. And then um, there was a thing with Sasha Banks and Bailey. They had their like little um, like interview thing talking about because let's see, shoot, they went on NXT. You went on Raw, and they're talking about, all about SmackDown, the Iconics, and whenever who's on SmackDown, what they're going to defend on SmackDown. And they're just pretty much saying that whoever they go against, they'll show they're the best. Um, and why they're there, and whatnot. And then Natalia and Beth Phoenix come out. And Natalia and Beth Phoenix are just talking about, um, Beth Phoenix, like, Sitting there, I sit in there seeing the women division, and like the fire just come out. The fire just came out. Like, hmm, I want to get it. And then they pretty much they want a match at WrestleMania for the women tag team titles against Sasha and Bailey. So I mean, well, it'll be kind of messed up if they let Beth Phoenix win with Natalia. But it could be interesting seeing that. But I mean, Beth Phoenix still looks like she can wrestle, but. Yeah. And and then ends up being yeah wait it ends up being yeah Natalia Sasha I don't remember what he like I don't know who started Natalia or Sasha well no they were talking Sasha and Natalia and Natalia ended up punching Sasha and Sasha's like like getting her out to like oh you gonna punch me and she. Tax freaking yeah. um, Natalia and it ends up being a brawl, which ends up being a match with Sasha Banks versus Natalia. And, which ends up being a DQ. I mean, I didn't watch the ending of this match. I watched the beginning, but I didn't watch the ending. Miss he did, so I'm just going to tell you how the ending end. So. Yeah, well, Nia Jax comes out pretty much mocking Beth Phoenix, like, oh, she's the best and everything else. And, you know, they're all, like, Beth Phoenix is all, like, 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 shock or whatever. And then out of nowhere, Tamina comes and pushes her. Like, from behind. And then, then she, like, boots fucking Bailey in the face. It, it was messed up. And then she, like, runs up to Nia Jax. It was really yeah, crazy. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, let's see. Then, there was, um, the next match was Ricochet, Awesomeness yeah. versus uh, Jinder Mahal. Magic Carpet Raid. Even though Jinder Mahal hasn't been winning lately, but um, of course, I mean, any match with Ricochet is going to be an awesome match because of all of the flips he does. Oh yeah. But Ricochet ended up doing a six thirty for the win, so and he's like, oh, woo. Yeah. and then um. It was, um, the next match was Ronda Rousey oh. versus Dana Brooke for the Raw Woman title, which, oh man, was the quickest match ever. But before the match, Dana Brooke was just saying that, 
all she needs is three seconds and she'll be the new album of champion blah 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 and this and that yeah three seconds all right three seconds all right but you lost right when the bell rang Ronda put her right in an arm bar and she's tapping but um Ronda Rousey didn't let go at first and then it took rest and then the rest um got punched by Ronda she punched him and she got a ring she's looking at her husband um and then she, uh, they're going after Ron Rousey. And then she's shoving the refs again. And then the refs going up to the husband. The husband actually got some punches on the refs mm -hmm. and stuff. That was weird. And then it just ends up being a Rhonda and the husband leaving, walking away together. Yeah, he like literally picked her up. Like, whoa. Yep. It's like, ah, we're done. We're done. We're done. Yep. But um, that was that. Then it ended up being, um, Baron Corbin uh. versus Apollo Crews, which was freaking, this was funny. Apollo Crews actually ends up beating Baron Corbin, which is funny and hilarious. Which is funny because Apollo Crews hasn't really been winning matches or women matches and he loses to Baron, oh, well, he wins against Baron Corbin. Mm -hmm. He did like, um, an inside cradle, it's like a video roll up. For the win. And Baron Corbin's like, What? No, no. And then um, Paula Cruz runs out, stands at the ramp, Kurt Angle comes out and hugs Apollo, and they're just laughing from top of the rope, saying, Ha ha, ha ha, you lost. So, um, that that's gonna suck though if last farewell match and Corbin beats him. Yikes. Um, nope. and then the main event is Seth Rollins burn, burn it, it down, down versus Drew McIntyre the Scottish psychopath um Drew McIntyre ends up winning mm -hmm. um he got he actually won because uh Seth Rollins got distracted when Lesnar came out and he stayed at the top of the ramp and uh Drew McIntyre when uh Seth Rollins turned around he did a Claymore kick for the win. And of course, um, they're just, Brock's just sitting there staring at him. Like he always does. Always does. But when Raw ended, there was um, a little thing that it wasn't on TV, but it was on the exclusive. Dean Ambrose came out. I was like, really? I don't yeah. see Dean live, but I see it. He goes on an exclusive? Because, they always uh, leave the best where you can't see it. Because, um, I don't know if it's just true with Baron Corbin. <coughs> well, they were attacking Seth Rollins. Dean Ambrose came out to help Seth Rollins. So, and then they stood tall and all shaking hands and shaking like, I got you back. So. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, there was a thing with Batista talking. He was just pretty much, he was in uh, his own top of Florida, it says, just having questions, talking about... What his and Triple H match is gonna end up being, and this and that. Yep. Yeah, like, yeah, and he's like, get out of my office. Yeah, he's like, get out. So, yeah. I, it, it was a crazy Monday Night Raw, I would say. I mean, yeah, so. But, uh, how's that? I don't know, what would what would probably be the best highlight of it, really? The highlight of Raw tonight probably would have been... I don't really know, really, I mean... It was an iffy, maybe? I thought it was an 50 50 thing because it's like. It was like we knew about Saw, uh, Seth Drew and Brock. We know about Corbin. We know about Rhonda. Ricochet. It's like a, the highlights, like something new that we've never seen. Like, I mean, no way. I was like, no, we've seen Well, that. Kurt Angle and Chad Gable, that was kind of mm. odd seeing that. Yeah. Or heavy machinery coming out <laughs> with freaking the conga eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the warrior reward was some lady named Sue for the warrior reward. You know what else we didn't say? Lacey Evans. She usually comes out. Oh, blind. yeah? Where she, was she? She usually comes out and prances out. In her I heard that she might actually, they might actually have her a match on WrestleMania. Is it going to be true? Are they going to make her have a match? Or is she just going to walk at WrestleMania like... Look at me in my new fancy outfit. Yeah. Like, so. I mean, that was a brawl. What did you thought of brawl? Yeah. Um, I thought it was okay. 
That was alright. Eh, it was alright. I got a good, couple good moments. Yeah. I like the ricochet. Oh, yeah. I and know. burn it down. The Ronda Rousey thing, like, really? Three seconds? It's a round, even though he lost. But he might win. I don't know. He might win at WrestleMania. That'd be interesting. But that was that. Let us know. Um, I'm psyched to see what SmackDown is tonight. Oh, yeah. You never know. If, uh, we'll see who's on SmackDown. Got Styles. The new day to Brian. Um, <laughs> Samoa Joe. Jack Hardy. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, apparently the Hardy Boys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even though I only like Jeff. So, but, we'll see. Yeah. So, um. Make sure you. Make sure you like. Comment. And subscribe. And we'll, we'll see, see you next, you next time. Bye. Bye.